So, ended up getting the front office now, finally. Desk, flags, some swag. Eventually, I'll find some deal on some big screen TV so I can put stuff in here for all the clients to enjoy. And here is the new shop. So, I ended up getting the other side, finally. The bathroom. So, uh, all my inventory parts. Got the gold wing up on a table for someday in the far future when I have time to actually work on it. Um, two toolboxes all loaded up. Uh, LS1's in the back still ready for a project. We have a new motor for Felix's Corolla so we can rebuild the one that he's got in his current bike. Um, yeah, but overall, the Buell's still here. Gold wing. The fabrication area was moved over to this corner, so ran 220, everything else that I need. I was testing out the MIG, because we have an issue with that one. I'll figure out whatever it is later. And cabinets, some artwork, a lot more space. I put another lift in. We've got Eric from Iraz Motoring. He is your plug for the steering wheels and does a really great job of putting cars together too where, I mean, he just does it everything right. Volks, oh, look at these. Volk racing. Some good, uh, I mean, just the way that this was put together, great. I think Curtis Motion ended up helping him do this down here in Miami. Um, just an overall great car. So it's in for uh, a steering rack replacement because these electric racks would like to go. And I'm also going to, I polish his headlights. These things look nice and slick now. And I'm actually gonna be pulling the bumper, pulling the lights out and opening the housings. We're gonna black out the housings. And doing the same thing to the rear here. But overall, yeah. That's pretty much it. So I cut the partition, built the wall, and, and classic hidden wall Batman style. We can swing it open. And then in the old shop, we have Felix's Corolla. Just came by and did his little Hyperlove stickers on today. The shop Civic is still here. And still waiting on head studs for that because apparently it was October 22nd when I went to go check back. Now it's pushed to January 4th. So it's just taking forever, forever to find parts for that. And then we have this super awesome 1980 C10, C20, 454, some goodies. So it's getting, forget these, trash. Those are out. So for this, it's new um, ball joints, all suspension stuff, uh, poly, control arm bushings, uh, clean up the sway bar because they really don't make a, they don't make a aftermarket sway bar for these. So I'm just going to be doing a cleanup on that, new bushings. And same thing for the rears, new shocks. So got some AFCOs. Gonna be punching these guys out. And we have a set of buildings for the fronts as well. And those bad boys are going here. And also got some poly bushings for the shackles and the leaf springs as well. So at least we can get that all updated and get it riding a little bit better. It does have a few oil leaks on the oil on the transmission pan and the oil pan. So gonna be going through that. Obviously you can see somebody had tried to jack this motor up from the oil pan and dented it. So I'm just gonna pull this, clean it up, see if the mating surfaces really work, uh, match up and uh, silicone it, throw it back in there for now and see if he wants to replace the oil pan. If not, then, you know, we'll just do that. And the transmission pan as well is a nice leak and it's literally been pissing all over my car. It's here too. But yeah. So that's the update. This shop's gonna get moved over to the other side. So from the old shop where was this? I ended up getting the continuing side. 
And now we have all of the space in here. So I think uh, we're gonna end up, or I'm gonna end up putting another lift here. And then that way at least I have anything that I need to do fabrication wise, I don't really need to like move anything too far. I do need to build a welding cart at the end of the day, as much as I was trying to avoid that. Just because I'm lazy. <laughs> but everything's here. So, we're still alive, we're growing, I'm growing, <laughs> things are moving forward, um, yeah, that's about it, just a quick little six minute video to update you guys, and uh, thank you for watching, following, I'm going to be filming as much as possible, doing as many as I, videos as I can, I think I'm going to do one on this one where, for the 09 RX-8s, how to do the bumper removal, because I know it's a little tricky, doing a steering rack install, and uh, doing the headlight housings and the taillight housings as well. So I'll probably do a whole video on this one, and we'll do a quick little interview with Eric, who's a very, very, very interesting gentleman, um, and just overall cool people. All right, thank you. Have a good one. Bye.